Ms. Perkins, you would do the roll call. Okay. And, and do you, have you met the commissioners? Maybe this would be a no, good time I for everyone not. to say hello to each other. Okay. Okay. So, Oscar, would you yes. introduce yourself? I'm Oscar Palacios. Okay. And you are? I'm Martha Perkins. I'm the new um, planning, uh, zoning, and building director for the town of Taos. Thank you. Good to, good to meet you, I'm sure. Yes, you too. We've already met. Right. Okay, so this serves as roll call also. We right. met We <laughs> met yesterday. Nice right. to see you again. Nice to meet you. We're yes. at the Choma. Right. And we met today. I'm Rachel Prince. Okay, so all the commissioners are here tonight. Great yes. to have you on board. We're all here. And also, typically, you would be le you will lead the Pledge of Allegiance, if you don't mind. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next. Children, next. We have to approve the agenda. <laughs> well, weren't we going to amend it to uh, yeah, we were. switch A and B? Mm -hmm. Okay, so move. Okay. There's Second. A, there you go. Are you, have you... Did you hear what he said, Ms. Perkins? He yes, speaks. Yes, he wants to switch A and B. Right. And what is cons uh, as far as the public hearing section? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yes, fine. under number eight. Also, before we get started, I want to remind the commissioners to enunciate and say who you are into the microphone if it's not otherwise clear for Dinah. So when she transcribes these, she doesn't get confused. I'm trying to find out who I am. Thank you. So is this meeting being recorded, or do I need to be taking notes as far as the motions? It I, I, he, yes, it's being recorded. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, it's being Actually, recorded. Actually, we're on TV, aren't we? We are. Mm -hmm. We are on television. Okay. Okay. So we have a motion and a second to approve the agenda as amended. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimously passed. All right, <laughs> approval of the meeting minutes for the Historic Preservation Commission meeting that was July 17th, 2013. Has everybody had a chance to look at those? Um, Madam Chair, yes. Lukas. Yes. Uh, I think under item seven, uh, Mr. Karcher is referred to as Mr. Joaquin. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's correct. That's his first name. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not his last name. I just noticed that. Yes. Okay, so. That should be amended to Mr. Karcher. Joaquin Karcher. Karcher. Right. And we spell his last name K A R C H. E R. All right. Ms. Perkins, do you see where that is? Yes, I do, and I have noted it. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Any other changes, anyone? Mm -mm. Has noticed? No? Okay. No, move to approve. Second. All right. Motion. Second to approve the agenda from Historic Preservation Committee meeting. Uh, our commission meeting, I'm sorry, um, from June 17th, or July 17th, pardon me. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let's move on then to, sorry, I'm out of order here. Citizens, of, um, citizens Forum. Are there any citizens wishing to speak? Good, there smart. are. Sorry. There Smart are. Move. That's great. <laughs> happy to have you. We're happy to be here. Good. Um, you may choose which one of you. You raised your hand first, but take whichever one you'd rather speak first. Uh, I, I, I would like to go first, if I may. You may. Yes, 
So my name is Karen Todd, and I have the Dragonfly Cafe and Bakery located at 402 Paseo de Pueblo Norte. And um, I've been in that space for 15 years. Um, and when I took the space, it looked much as Dr. Kilgore's space right next door to me does currently. And I have pictures to prove that, um, if need be. And um, what I would like to propose is that before the buildings in back are built, um, and this is something for the Preservation Committee to consider, um, there are a number of um, hazardous, um, uh, hazardous things going on in both buildings. Uh, when I took the building, it had cotton two-wire wrap electric in a very charming fuse box that had glass fuses in it, et cetera, et cetera. It was in a state of disrepair beyond, beyond. And um, I made numerous changes to the building. Um, I put tens of thousands of dollars into the building to bring it up to code so that I could pass inspections and open my business. And I had very little help from the Tarletons. And um, I, when I said to them, this needs to be done, this needs to be done, this needs to be done, they said, well, we would rather see a bulldozer hit the building than put any money into it. So I continued because it is the historic district. I live here, and I raise my children here, and I would like to see these buildings be preserved. So in, um, in all earnestness, I put the money into it and started my business, and which is now I would consider a success. Um, and um, before the Tarletons um, would be allowed to build more new builds in the back, I would like to propose to the historic district that they bring both buildings, Dr. Kilgore's building and my building, up to code so that it doesn't fall on the responsibility of the renters as it has traditionally in the past. Um, so I don't know if that's a possibility or not, but that's something that I would like to see because if somebody goes into Dr. Kilgore's business, business place of business, say he retires, which he's on the verge of, um, that the next renter would have to go through the same things that I went through. And um, my building currently has major violations, in my opinion, I think. Um, support beams that have been shored up with jacks in lieu of being actually repaired. Um, a fireplace that is a hazard, a working fireplace that is a hazard. It has no lining. It's adobe. It's, it's straight up and down. There's no baffling. There's no um, flu. There's, there's a number of things. I could go on and on and on. And I would like to see both of these buildings maintained before he's allowed to build anything new in the back. And I think that that would be fair. This is the face of our historic district. You know, these are the charming buildings that make Taos what it is. And I would like for, for them to be maintained and cared for. Um, so if that's at all possible to have happen, I would really like to see that happen. So that's really, um, that's all I have to say on that um, issue. And I'd be happy to supply you with photographs and receipts, et cetera, et cetera, for all the work that I have put into the building to try to make it as safe as I possibly can um, for my employees and for the guests that come through Taos. Um, also, um, the name <laughs> Dragonfly Apartments, I, uh, I never gave consent. And I feel that my good reputation is being used um, without my consent. And I don't really want my name attached to those apartment buildings and back in any capacity. Mm -hmm. So if that can be struck, that would be great. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have to say, short and sweet. I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Have, have you been um, given any indication Please at all from the owners of what their intentions are with your building? Um, currently, they're saying that they are going to, they would like for me to stay, um, and they've presented a lease to me. That doesn't protect me still from... Uh, the cost of building repairs. They would like you to stay? They would like me to stay at this point, as far as I know. I don't have a lease. I'm on a month-to-month. -month. Um, and the lease that they presented to me, like I said, doesn't protect me from... And I have to close every three to four years to structurally improve the building at, at great cost to me. Mm -hmm. And the economic times have changed, and I can no longer afford to do these things. Nor should it be my responsibility So, Madam as a renter. Chair. Mm -hmm. Yes, Commissioner Lukes. Um, while I empathize with both items, both both complaints about the condition of the buildings and, and the name, uh, I think we need we need to, as a commission, we need to separate uh, separate what's before us and which which is the project itself, and we have to assess it <laughs> on its own merits. 
As far as the name, I think you have uh, the law on your side because it's, a, it's an infringement on your mark. Correct. Uh, so you have protection there. And, uh, and from what I heard in the last meeting, Mr. Tarleton was perfectly willing to to drop the name. It, it was just the initial. As far as the two buildings, the condition of those, I think that uh, um, market forces kind of drive that, and you don't have to sign a lease uh, unless you tell them you do A, B, C, D, E, F, and then I'm going to sign the lease. Mm -hmm. But not until you take care of these repairs. And I think that is the way to approach it. Same, same as, as your neighbor. Uh, you can also file a complaint with the uh, code enforcement. Uh, you have the head of the code enforcement right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, ask to inspect the, your building, and they can probably write up a nice, uh, nice brochure. Mm -hmm. I think that that's that's mm -hmm. great, and and um, and I appreciate that. Um, I'm just concerned that monies will go into the new builds and not into the reparations right. of the old buildings. And the other thing is that the um, the name Dragonfly Cafe has now been seen by many of the neighbors, and they are assuming that I'm involved, and they are assuming that my integrity follows me into this project, which I have nothing to do with. So that, that's a problem. I think that the neighbors should be notified that this has nothing to do with Dragonfly Cafe and Bakery, as they were notified that these meetings would occur. And, um, and so I would I, like to I see understand them be notified. And I understand, and I think you have every right to ask Mr. the applicant to, to change the name of the project. Uh, Ms. Perkins, no do you have some suggestions for Ms. Todd? Um, this uh, the Dragonfly Apartments will have to be re-noticed, and so certified letters will be sent out to the adjacent property owners, and I can ask that they please add that you have no part in this project, and we can also request that they not use the, your name. Thank you. Yes. And you can yeah. let the newspaper know, too. Yeah. You, you can file a legal you notice or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take my turn. Sorry. Commissioner well, Palacios? Yes. Um, Thank you, Ms. Todd, for speaking up. Um, I believe that the, the whole thing was presented to us as one parcel. I didn't see it subdivided or treated as a separate project. And um, I just per peruse uh, the minutes that, that I know that I did speak up uh, about the parking issue, mm -hmm. I wanted him to declare, I wanted the applicant, well, first of all, we're kind of in a funny bind here because they are, they're not here. The, right. the, the property owner's not here and they have asked for a continuance. So I'm trying to address this within that context. But I, I do believe that the project was submitted as one parcel. And I think when we, we've gone there and seeing the project, that th those buildings are worthy of, of something, it, um, whether it's a, we call it SHPO, uh, the State um, Preservation Society. I don't think we need to bring them in, but if we're saying that they're not part of the project, I think maybe we should, because we're here to protect the historic part of town. And what my feeling was that the project was presented kind of that you couldn't see it from the road, you couldn't see it from any place. And part of why you couldn't see it because you had this historic buildings in front. <laughs> so if there's no intention, I, I want to know the intention of the, what's going to happen to those buildings. And I do think it's part of the project. I, I, it, unless, unless it's shown as a separate site, which I don't think it was. But we can investigate that. <coughs> So I, I think your comments are appropriate. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for the rebuttal probably till next month. Mm -hmm. But uh, I see them as related, the existing buildings and the new project. Um, and I think I did ask for intent of what they, what they were going to do with your project. And I, I think it was just skirted. So more than... The, the project itself is up for discussion, <laughs> but I, I think your buildings are, are your building and 
Dr. Dr. Kilgore is, uh, are part of the project or should be stated as not part of the project. I also feel that if they, um, if they are forced to invest in the buildings, the two existing buildings, um, there is less likely for any harm to come to those buildings in the future. Oh, and uh, yes, and that's why we're, when, when we have projects brought before us, we like to evaluate if, if they're worthy of uh, further uh, consideration in terms of their status in, 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 the, in, the, in the district. Um, it's really hard to f force people to <laughs> do things. Well, and I think you need to be careful, if I may, yes. when, you're, when you're stating the shortcomings of the buildings, that votes, that votes against you. Correct, I, mean, because, I understand that. <laughs> because I understand you're, you're that. saying maybe the buildings aren't worth keeping, possibly. So the, the, everything needs to be evaluated. Um, so for us in economics to ask owners to do more than take care of the outside of the building uh, is, is kind of not our purview. Ours is how everything, the, the, how it looks, this curb appeal and uh, Correct. its presence in the town. I mean, we start getting into updating the electrical and the plumbing. It's kind of not... Mm, not anything that this no, commission is a... Uh, that's a code enforcement issue, and you can easily get that ball rolling if you want to. Right. I wanted to thank you also for sure. coming to speak very much and, and let you know that it was... it was mis The dragonfly name on the binder last time was slightly misleading to me, even to me, and I know you. I mean, I know who you are, and I was thinking, well, that's... Right. So we'll do... This commission will do its part in making sure that that's clearly defined. Thank you. I certainly appreciate that. And I, I do want these historic buildings, of course, I want them to stay as part of the face of our historic district. And I think that my actions have certainly bespoke of that. And um, so before the monies are put into this other project, I would just like to see some monies brought. And even if it is just the exteriors of these buildings, they both need mm -hmm. some attention. Your building in particular was Dory's before. I've lived here 30 correct. years. That's one of the first breakfast places around. That was, That's correct. It has a lot of good feelings for Nichols, a lot of people in there. John Nichols sat at table 12 and wrote the Milagro Beanfield War. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, there are some, some, some mm -hmm. really charming and beautiful well, things. I would hate to see it go away. Mm -hmm. Whether or not I'd I like stay to, as a business or not. I'd like to add one more thing. In this meeting last month, um, the discussion regarding the two buildings mm -hmm. and plans for the future, including whether uh, the leases would continue on or not, were largely undefined. Mm -hmm. And if I remember correctly, uh, Commissioner Palacios suggested that uh, we not use terms like may or may not and we said, when, when, please determine and come before us and let us know what those plans are. Mm -hmm. At this point, it appears that we may be taking this up again next month and next month's meeting. And I encourage you to a be there at that meeting. And prior to that, if you were able to uh, define the plans for your building uh, and your lease situation and or obtain anything in writing regarding that before next meeting, that would be excellent. Yeah, I have a letter from my, uh, that was drafted by my attorney that was sent to the Tarletons as a proposal um, to them and I'd be happy to bring that letter. Um, I hate to make anything go faster than it should organically go, but I'm under. I mean, in, my instructions are five minutes or less for each person, and I'm and it went a little longer, which I'm stretching on it already. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ms. Todd. Thank you. W would you like to approach, please? Mm -hmm. So, in our responses, let's remember I'm under the gun five minutes or less. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I'm Ann McKenzie. I'm a neighbor of this property, the, the uh, 402. I live right behind. I'm, I live in 401 Theodora. And my, I have several concerns with the property. I'm not absolutely against anything being built there. The place has been horribly run down for a long time, but I think that what is proposed is too large for that space, for that part of town. I think that with Karen's traffic, their established customers, that um, there are photographs, as I understand, in the files that show 20 cars parked behind as her customers and her staff. And if we have 18 or 20 apartments and each of them has two cars, then you get to like a minimum of 60 cars a day, minimum, coming up and down that little driveway and, and onto that very busy street. And I feel that um, that kind of size project does not fit in the historic district. I think it, it is uncomfortable with the scale of Taos. And also, um, having wandered around in anticipation of all of this behind the buildings, they are really frighteningly run down. And my fear is that this is the habit of this owner of this property and that he's going to build this great big thing which will then be allowed to run down in the same way that the other old buildings have. And then we've got this huge slum behind the, which does not make me happy. And that's, that's, mm -hmm. those are my big, my big issues here with this. Thank you, Ms. McKenzie. It's McKenzie, right? Yes, McKenzie, M-A-C-K. <laughs> um, I also recommend that you would like to probably come to our next meeting, which is gonna be September 18th. September at 5.30 in the okay. same location. I will do so. Thank you very uh, much. And thank, I appreciate thank you, you all taking this all seriously. I really oh, am. absolutely. Yes. We, we're very much concerned about particulars that we um, weren't able to obtain in last month's meeting. Yes. And I, so. I also felt that I'd, I'm not familiar with architectural plans, but I noticed that in the, the folder that you all were given of the plans last month that I got a glimpse of, a lot of things were stated very vaguely, like a lot of things like the bullnosing maybe will happen, you know? And I felt mm -hmm. like it, if when push came to shove, a lot of those nicer aspects would not materialize. It all seemed very vague to me. Okay, well, thank you again, and also yes. in interest yeah. of the applicant, it'd be, it'll be great to say those things with them present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Chair, mm -hmm. I just yes, want to make a statement to Ms. McKenzie and the rest of the audience uh, interested in this particular item. Uh, it's really important that you engage in, in attending the meetings because as the process continues, we can condition the, condition the approval. I assume we're going to approve it eventually. Uh, and uh, any of your concerns, we can reflect in conditions of approval. So it's really important that you stay on top of it and maybe consult each other, others, and neighbors. Any, any potential complaints that you might have or problems that you might foresee, we can probably address. Okay, thanks again. All right, we're gonna move on to, uh, um, is there anyone else who wishes to speak? Did you wish to, ma'am? Okay, okay. Uh, matter number seven, please. Matters from staff. <coughs> I have none at this time. Thank okay. you. Okay. Great. I can't imagine why. I <laughs> enjoyed <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right. Given that we switched up the agenda, um, let's. Rules of public uh -huh. hearings. Rules. Yeah, the rules of public hearings. Would you be willing to? Normally, the, the staff person goes over those. Do you, are you prepared to do that at this time? Um, you know what? I did not bring the rules of the public hearing. Okay. It's my understanding that you have heard them numerous times. We before, hear them every single time. And um, it's not clear that we really need to go through them every single time when we have new commissioners. Okay. Then we can go through the rules. As a matter Maybe of fact, the legal counsel uh, told the PNZ that uh, it's really not necessary to 
state the rules for public hearing every single time. Every single maybe time. what we'll do is if we'll do it if we have a new commission or right. if, at the beginning of the year at the annual meeting. Maybe we'll do that. I then. think that's a good idea, just okay. to remind people. Okay, great. So um, we said that we would move the continuance issue up and is that going to be a public hearing if we're just they're just requesting a continuance they're continu so uh, they're asking for a continuance to the next um regularly scheduled um historic preservation commission and meeting was that advertised as a public hearing do i have to open a public hearing to approve a continuance uh yes i do believe you need to because it was scheduled it was scheduled for the state and we advertised it for the state, so you do need to open up the okay. hearing and then make a continue it to the next hearing, whatever that date is. Okay. So then I'm going to at this time open the public hearing for case number HPC 203-3, in which Mark Tarleton, the property owner, and Mark Yarovitz, the agent, are requesting a continuance. And I move to Grant the continuance, case number HPC 2002-3-3. To what date? To the next uh, scheduled meeting in September. September 18th. Okay. Yes. So we have a motion and a second to approve the continuance. All of those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Is there anyone in the audience who wants to speak on this issue? Seeing none, I'm going to close the public hearing for case number HPC 203-3. All right, now we're going to go to item 8A, case number HPC 2013-4. Joe Walborn and Don Pennington are requesting a certificate of appropriateness for new construction and remodeling. Um, at this point, I want to open the public hearing for that case, and I believe... Ms. Perkins, would you rather give your staff report first or have Mr. Pennington speak first? Which would you prefer? Um, it's, it's up to the commission. It, okay. Either way is fine. Okay, then Mr. Pennington, would you please approach and would you swear in Mr. Pennington, please, Ms. Perkins? Can you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? Good. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Commissioners. Um, I am here representing Joe Welburn, who owns uh, property at 216 Hind Street. The scope of the project is to remove a very old garage and carport and add about 730 square feet to the house in the same footprint as, a basic same footprint as the garage and the the carport and in the project it's a master bedroom bathroom laundry room and a mechanical room we're also replacing the uh, carport in front of uh, it's in the drawings but in front of the area that it exists right now and on top of the carport we are going to have a deck with stairs that go up so they can possibly see the mountains. The parapet line of the existing house is going to continue at the same height as what, it, what it's uh, going to be put on the addition. The color is the same. We are using aluminum clad windows, but they are also uh, deep blue like exists on the house. Uh, and we are putting a couple of skylights, but they will be hidden in the parapet lines because the parapets are going to be close to three feet high. The deck area is that the stairs to the deck area will be mostly hidden by a small front courtyard that we're creating as an entrance into that area. And uh, we, we can meet all the setbacks. The side setbacks are seven feet. We've designed it to where we can meet all the setbacks. The front and the back setback are of no problem. So uh, that's what we would like to do. And if you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them. 
I have a question. Have you had any feedback from any of the neighbors? Oh. Yeah, there I am Sorry. flying on the roof. Uh, the, the neighbor across the street, Mark, uh, I can't believe, I don't remember his last name, but he did request uh, to see Martha, and I met with him also and showed him, uh, I presented her with some, some color photographs of the existing project and, and what it, the scope would look like. I don't know if all of you have seen these. No. Uh, but Can anyway, we pass those around, Mr. Pennington? Pardon me? May we pass those around? Sure. I saw it this afternoon, but... These are these are labeled uh, well, upside down. This is existing. Mm -hmm. It's the view from Hind Street, which was the guy across the street where he lives. That's his house right there with all the trees. Okay. What is ex uh, this is before and after? Mm -hmm. We have a black and white version here. Street. This is the before That's picture. This is the after picture. Mm -hmm. And I, I create that with my renderings. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the back property, again, is the fire department. Uh, the two side properties, uh, one is Mr. Lowe, and then the other one is a corporation from Oklahoma that owned the house to the, I think it would be West. Existing. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like when it's finished. The deck is uh, going to be on top of the carport. The parapets are three foot high, or higher than that, but to give us a three foot banister around so people don't fall off too easily. You're building like fortress, five inch concrete, 3,000 feet hmm. I always do that. Good man. That is, that is my normal foundation. Good. Kudos to you. Um, do, do you have radiant in the disabled part? Is there hydronic in the um, five inch slab? Before and after, after, after renovation. Yeah. Oh, but this heat is radiant heat. Radiant heat? Yeah. Front oh, view. Okay. Well, that adds it's to the detail of one of the. Um, well, both of them have the same the title. Mass, but <laughs> oh, right. Once you get into five inches of concrete with 3H rebar instead of mesh. I think this is a variation of that. You end up with a much stronger um, It is, it's the full. Have, yeah, 20% more in mass to heat and store and all that, so. Okay, good deal. So, um, <clears throat> uh, Don, I just yes, have one question, just a little confusion here. And we have a black and white, right. like what you just showed us. But yeah. both of these photographs here have the same caption. Wellborn home front view on Hind Street. This, this is just you can't see it. That's down here. It's further down. Yes, okay, it's, it's another section gates, uh, of it. Yes. Okay. That's great. Right. There are gates. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is the front gate. The and over here are the what are we calling, uh, postal boxes. I see. Okay. And then and the CD there's the postal boxes right there. I understand. And yeah, they both have the same caption, and so. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I could, I could have shot it and All right. It, All right. Thank you. Okay. So, Commissioner Palacios. So, um, have the I, I, I'm curious if the neighbors have been notified or. or uh, Everybody within 300 feet, and uh -huh. the only one, I think Martha told me that somebody else called, and the 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 concern that we had basically from both people was, are they going two-story? <laughs> We're not mm -hmm. going two-story. They're going to the same level because there's uh, there evidently some state law about solar rights that I'm not aware of, but mm -hmm. yeah. that, mm -hmm. that was brought up, that you can't block yes. right. solar That's true. gains or this or that. Well, then uh, I guess the next I want to defer, do you have a report on your findings? Uh, um, I was just going to put my... Um, report into the record. Um, one of my concerns, but I don't know how this is normally handled, is um, the applicant did not itemize the materials in much detail, and I didn't know if he needed additional detail for the file, such as he's using aluminum clad windows in the blue that matches the existing house, but he didn't specifically say that he was using 
you know, what type of materials. And we talked about when I visited the property that he would be using a lot of the same materials that are on the existing garage and uh, carport. I mean, the outside fixtures would be as much as he could use, reuse them and make sure that the same style was used. Um, the existing house is actually higher off the ground. The finished elevation is higher than the current garage and carport. So the whole house will be on the same level is my understanding now. That's true because when the town went and curbed and guttered the street and then repaved it, they had no drainage all the way from the post office and those driveways flood. When it get a hard rain, it goes over the top and it goes down into the yard and out back to the fire department. So uh, it is, uh, yeah, I convinced them to bring it up uh, to the same level and we can create a, a catch basin and, and funnel it out to the back. Uh, and, and speaking with Rudy and previously, uh, the concerns have always been windows and stucco color. That's part of the application. Mm -hmm. uh, I have never been asked about what light fixtures are going to be on the outside or any of that kind of thing. And if, mm -hmm. it's, if it's necessary, I will gladly uh, try and give you some kind of answer. But, I, I, you know, that, that to me, uh, up to the owner to a certain extent. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yes, Commissioner uh, Lucas. I think we can, uh, we can uh, deal with that concern by conditioning uh, this application that the applicant slash owner matches existing uh, wherever possible, which is the color of the stucco, which is the most dominant feature uh, of this and, uh, and the windows. And I don't care if they are vinyl clad or aluminum clad, as long as the color is matching the house. And so I, I would be good with that myself. I want to make sure that Ms. Perkins is comfortable with the documentation of your intent. So can just to make sure the two of you are on the same page. If she needs some more uh, information or more documentation for her files to keep on this application, I'd like you. I'm sure that you will work with her on that. Absolutely. Anything. She's she's getting in. She's being broken into a new job. Basically, that's. <laughs> driven me nuts for four months uh, <laughs> with the turnover in the department and the way things have been handled. It has been very unfriendly to builders and and uh, I would like, I mean I would serve on a commission or whatever it would take and and try and revise some of these methods that they use for simple remodels and simple additions. We have, You'd be a we great have, resource for that. But we have uh, been talking about streamlining for over two years now because yeah. some of some of the processes are ridiculously onerous uh, and people's livelihoods depend on uh, expediency and I would be even in favor of uh, ordinance that would uh, I was joking about it earlier that would deem application approved if the town doesn't respond within the a certain time, so there is some accountability on the part of town, because otherwise it's like la la land, and anything goes, and it will get done when it gets done. No sense of responsibility, and I've experienced that myself in the past, and so I, I <coughs> completely <coughs> sympathize with you and uh, with with the plight you had to go through. But I think there's new blood at the town. Uh, I think there is there is a new <coughs> effort to to be user friendly and accommodating because that's what the town staff is here for is is for the for the citizens of the town of Taos and not the other, not the other way around sure so go ahead, with all that go ahead. Said, i mean i i would uh, entertain to make a motion to uh just have this approved by us as a commission in terms of intent uh from what we have seen that is basically a remodel uh, and, a, and a replacement of an existing structure, and, uh, and 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 then I would like you to you know 
consider that like we're we're trying to work with you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, if, if there was a motion, I, I, I second it. And this okay. has to go to a second public hearing, though, right? Well, we, this is the second. This is the second. No, this, no, is, this the is the first. first. This, this is the first. first. This is the this first. Is, but but the thing is, is that we have brought up. This is the issues, streamlining I was talking about. Issues mm -hmm. about this that when a project is relatively simple compared to other ones, <laughs> uh, uh, that uh, we should be allowed to streamline it. If we had troubles with your presentation or troubles with your intent, then we would move it forward. But uh, right. I, I, it, Ms. Perkins, I have no issue. Ms. Perkins, what, what are you comfortable with or what do you? You know, staff has been talking about this, streamlining the, the code and taking out the preliminary hearing. Um, so th because I feel like two hearings is onerous to the applicant in many cases. And the certified mailings, especially two times, is extremely onerous. And I also agree his application is pretty much ready to go to a building permit. It's ready. Um, unfortunately, I believe the code requires these two meetings. Um, Does it have to wait a whole month? Can we have a, a public, a second public hearing sooner than a month from now? I don't see why we couldn't have a special I, I, hearing. I would be willing if, to, to just come and get it approved. Yeah, the main problem is the noticing issue. He has to have 15 days notice, no? Not for the second hearing. Not for the second hearing, just uh, 72. Just the first one. That's, that's oh, right, okay. because everybody who's interested should know after today's meeting when right. the next meeting is. Right. And was exactly. a sign put up outside this property? Yes, it was. And he worked very hard in getting this sign. He and I have talked. Well, that actually, <laughs> again, guys, uh, you know, the town provides the signs. Nobody provided a sign, so I made it, copied the letter they gave me, <laughs> printed it up to the same size, and just, you know, I did it myself because it's, uh, it, I didn't want to miss this hearing. Right. Well, with but the commission, I would be willing to come to approve something much quick, more quickly than September 18th if you would be and you feel comfortable with that. Um, I'll double check the code, but um, I'm pretty sure that the applicant knows the code. So I am fine with that. So if you I, want to decide on a date yeah. tonight and we'll notice it. And You're ready to go, I assume, right? We would love to start, uh, but it's, it's whatever is in the regs. If we have to have a second hearing. By we, do, we do have we to do, have a second, second hearing. It's just a matter of us deciding when. when we can meet and, and get yeah. you going. I was going to try to present the plans to get the permit started so I don't have to wait till September the 20th and then take another month. Yeah. No, I, I think you can, you can submit the plans anytime. Mm -hmm. so you can. I mean, they'll just hold the permit until the second. Because it'll take two weeks for them probably to review the plans and issue a permit is what I'm guessing. I don't know at this time who's even looking at plans. <laughs> can we find at least three of us that are able to be here Absolutely. soon? And how soon can we do that? Do Tomorrow. <laughs> no, Tomorrow. It has to be 72 hours. It has to be 72 hours notice. Which would mean the earliest would Monday. be Tuesday. Tuesday. Does the weekend count? Well, no. Well, Not it has usually. business days. But, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Uh, you're, you're willing to wait until next month and, and file your permit and so forth, mm -hmm. right, at this point, or are you not? I mean, wait a minute. I mean, why are we... Uh, uh, we're we're here. We're here on a regular meeting. Are, are, why are we doing a special meeting if, if you can submit them both together? I, I said I'm willing to wait. That okay. doesn't mean I'm happy about waiting. <laughs> okay, right. well, that's, no. Um, that's just, right. We're discussing yeah, this, but, sir. But, uh, I'm just I'm not happy about coming for another meeting just to... To know what we're going to say. In other words, to yeah. to just do this. That, sit well, then here we need and, to and, rewrite the code on that in that area as soon as. Soon as well, you guys can meet. I mean, I think it's ridiculous to have to meet again. Well, and the and then other and then there's a the potential of other applicants requesting the same consideration. Probably. Well, if you start streamlining. Well, we just do one at a time. What? I mean, uh, this uh, is one one condition, but I don't see. I'm trying to meet you halfway here, um, I, but, I, but, I think, but I don't want to. I don't want to yeah, like anger you, say. and I don't want to like anger me. I mean, it's like. <laughs> uh, no, um, you, you know, I, I started this in June. Well, I've been, I, I, but we haven't seen it, have we? Uh, well, I just it's have not your to. Fault. It's not my fault because the town has nothing going. Right. Well, you know? Right. Uh, well, what, one so thing at a time. Way. Are we going to solve the, the town thing, or are we going to solve your permit? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm. I'm. I'm uh, 
Well, Oscar, I'm trying to be ni as nice as I can. I realize it'll take, if I get permits in Monday, if I get plans in, it's going to take how long? Two weeks? I can't say for them what it's going to take. It's going to take whatever they take. Have anybody working in it may take a month. What's going on? So if, okay. if we could we get, a, we get some kind of resolution in two or three weeks. Okay, okay. okay. are you willing to come approve this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ms. Perkins. Just, you don't have to do it here. Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, Ms. Perkins, I have three commissioners that are willing to come back next week to approve this so that it can move forward at your comfort. Yeah, I'm just trying to check the, the notice requirements, and I have okay. no problem with you submitting your building permit and having this concurrent review. Okay. Um, it sounds like the commission um, has basically approved your project. It's just going through the formalities of meeting the code requirements. Well, I'm sure all of you know that the historic regs were copied word for word from Santa Fe in 1980, and that's what we're working by. Sir, you those know? are different issues. We're trying to help no, you No, but I mean, well, don't, she don't. has to follow them. I understand that. If you can help me, I appreciate it. Well, you have it. to follow them, too. <laughs> no. Pardon I mean, me? I mean, you have to follow them, too, sir. I just said that. Okay, okay. So. Oscar, stop. Yeah, it, 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 my particular sense here is, uh, and my feeling is, personal feeling, is that if yeah. it were possible, unless we are told by written code and legal procedure that we must follow, if, there, if it were possible, I would put in a motion this moment to uh, grant you that certificate of appropriateness. Um, I don't know if we have the code before us for reference we for do. that section. We do, and uh, it requires... But we're being told right here and now that we must adhere to a second meeting. That's the case. So That's right. This that commission has to abide by that. No, I understand that. I've known that. Okay, I'm ready to, when you close the public meeting, I'm ready to make a motion. Let's do it. Um, the way the code is written, it really looks like I need, um, it's, it's written before every public hearing, there has to be the proper notice. And the fact that there are two public hearings are required, I can check with the town attorney tomorrow and see what his interpretation is, but it's looking to me like we have to have that 15-day notice period on both hearings. Uh, how would Even be, though it may be somewhat onerous right now. If it would be a regular, uh, if this would be handled at the regular meeting in September, there will be no notice, and this is no different to call a special a special meeting. Well, we can call a special meeting. All I'm saying is, rather than the 72-hour notice, it would be the 15-day, and he would still have to notify the adjacent property owners. Why? 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 Well, I, mean, I, I. That's just from my quick reading of the code sitting here. I will check with the town attorney tomorrow, make sure that this interpretation is correct. That, that the way the language is written, it's written that the proper notice has to be given before public hearing. Two public hearings are required. Therefore, I think the noticing applies to each hearing. I may be wrong on that. I'm just reading it sitting here. I'm not that familiar with the code. I've been mm -hmm. with the town for two weeks. I would, I would dare so, to, to say that, uh, that there, there's no need to uh, publicly notice the second meeting because if we move this to the next meeting in September, there will be no public notice. I think once it's public, publicly noticed, then anybody with interest in this item will be watching this on TV or will be in the audience and they will know that it's not going to be heard at the next, uh, next regular scheduled meeting, but at a, sp at a special meeting. Here's that, what, here's that, what I'd like you to do. The, they're, they're, they're in I understand that. Notice. It's just a noticing requirement. Ms. Perkins, what I'd like you to do 15. is, if you, if you would, and I, I know that you will from what you've already said, I'd like you to speak with Brian James tomorrow, and then would you get back to me and let me know what that answer is, and then I will set a special meeting for as soon as, is, as he's comfortable with it. I would, I would even tentatively schedule it subject to town, town of town's attorney's approval. Cindy? Yes. In the pamphlet they hand out to us, it says, uh, notice to be written in the newspaper, published one time on a certain date for the, for the hearing. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's in the, the requirements for me to get my package together. 
and it, it says you have to send certified letters out and it, it doesn't say I've never had to do it twice, but I don't know. No, I, I, I agree with you. Ms. Perkins, uh, and maybe Mr. James can revise the language so it's not so ambiguous or confusing about the right. notices, because obviously- You understand- I, I, I will definitely check and yeah. I'll get back to- And you to understand you. the wish of this commission is to yes, move this I'll as fast back as possible. Yeah, it just sounds like we need to review that code. And also, I do remember that as a commission, uh, we did make uh, suggestions and revisions we were asked to, uh, and uh, ones that would allow us flexibility uh, depending on the nature of uh, the work being done, whether it was a simple remodel, whether it was new construction and so forth. And so we, if I recall correctly, we did have flexibility in indicating shorter time periods. They all, every project did not have the same Right, uh, but that ne ne never got transferred into the code. Mr. Morris worked on oh, it, and the ball got so, dropped. So we agreed to go with this, but it did not get translated and was Mr. never. Mr. Morris, it did not. I see. And so here's what we'll do. We'll, well do that, what we, just, what we just agreed upon. And then, Mr. Pennington, if you don't think it would be a waste of your time, since you've been through this and been frustrated by it and probably have some suggestions on how to make it go more easily in the future, if you would write those down and give Ms. Perkins a copy and also give one to me. Sure. That'd be great. We can we can work on that. Yes, because I would really like to present some of these code changes to the council. I do want to streamline some of this application process. I think... I'll be glad to give you all my Yeah, thoughts. that frustration is just horrible to see in your face when you're trying to do, <laughs> do your business well, and do work yeah. and make it nicer. and. Yeah, so it's let's, hard let's on me, too. Oh, yeah. Meeting. Well, uh, you know, in, in the case that I, I presented in January. Well, this this uh, this is a wonderful opportunity oh, to revisit yeah. what this yeah. commission had discussed and felt was appropriate, and, and, and say, yeah, the yeah. answer just came now. What happened okay, was that, that it that. never when made it? that it Two, into the code that. change it's officially. So this is a moment in time to put that perhaps on our agenda to get that done. So Ms. that Perkins, we, we, our, our, uh, our process is appropriate to the work that's being done. Thanks, Ms. Choma. Um, Commissioner Lucas and I would like to tentatively schedule this for Tuesday, next Tuesday, if Mr. James is in agreement and you are available. It shouldn't take very long. And Mr. Pennington. And Mr. Available. Pennington and Marika, if you're available, because I think you won't be in town, right? So Tuesday? Like no. Two o'clock or one o'clock? Yeah, we may need to find another place to have it. I believe next week is the Municipal League, and they will be using this facility. Mm -hmm. so You're right. In a conference room. Um, we could do it over there in the, in the town hall in, like, the training room or something. Mm -hmm. Sure. Anyway, I will find out. I'll get back to you okay. tomorrow. Including mm -hmm. you, yes, that's great. Terrific. Thank Commissioner you very much, Commissioner Palacios. Are you okay with this? Do you understand why we're trying to do it? And this, we're just trying to make it set an example of how this can be done to make it easier for people. You okay with it? I understand what you're doing. I uh, I wanted to approve it as it was, uh, I but I'm not okay. I'm not willing to to see this as a big hardship beyond the law. Um, right. So. You guys are proceeding as good. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. you. No, we're not going to close it yet. Oh, I'm going to close the public hearing. Yeah, I thought you meant the meeting. No, <laughs> no, no. I have so many things to say. Okay, I'm going to at this time close the public hearing on case number HBC 2013-4, Walborn and Pennington. And I'd like to make a motion, Madam Chair. A motion. You want to make a motion to under matters from commissioners? Or? No, no, on this case, okay, to, on this to case. approve HBC 2013-4 to go to a final hearing to be held 
at a special meeting this coming Tuesday, whatever date that, that is, at 2 o'clock. Tuesday would be the 27th. At 2 o'clock? Yes. That at, the, uh, at the place designated by the planning director. Do we have a subject second? And this, I second this is subject, that. subject to approval by town attorney. I second this. Okay, motion and a second. Any further discussion on this? Ms. Perkins, is there any possibility when you're speaking to the town attorney that you could ask him if it's possible if we have unanimous consent of this commission right now for us to forego, for this applicant to be able to forego the next meeting? Can't do it won't, it won't, we, we it won't can't happen it. at all. No. Okay. Because it's in the ordinance, and the whole the ordinance will have to be changed by act of the council. Okay. I'm not an attorney. No. <laughs> okay. Thank so you. I negate that. Sorry, that was Commissioner Prince. <laughs> motion and a second. Further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. One abstention. Commissioner Palacios is abstaining. And Madam Chair, if I may, mm -hmm. since our planning director is new, I brought up the streamlining probably two and a half years ago. And if you check the record, and, I, and this is exactly the kind of a case that prompted me to even think of changing our processes because it's ridiculous for minor items where there are no issues, the public is uh, disinterested or in agreement, uh, uh, town departments have no problem with, with an application. You have to wait 30, 30 days and if you mm -hmm. check the record, 60, every, every time <laughs> I asked, I got the same answer from Bill Morris and Rudy. Well, we're working on it. Well, we had so much, so much of this other stuff to do. It's so simple. And then Brian James came on board, and he started looking at it too. And he found uh, some legal, uh, legal ramifications of it that, uh, or hoops to jump through. But I think it's really imperative that we attack this now and take it on and and yeah. bring it to the council. Uh, I mean, bring it to us, the language created by uh, Mr. James uh, for our input and approval, and then give it to the council and change it right away. I don't know why the, the wheels have to turn so slowly. You know, uh, our business could not, never survive acting like this. No, and uh, well, Rudy and Bill, excuses, 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 you know, I, I, I pretty much gave up on it. But this is true. There, there oh. are my witnesses here. <laughs> but, but, but it's true, and that's just why I mentioned it earlier. And that there was just, you, there has been a, simply a unique sort of thing that has occurred where we would really get, you know, notice certain things as, this is a prime example, actually do the work to differentiate when we should have the ability to foreshorten a process and not define it, and then it would evaporate. Yeah, and you know, this is at a time <laughs> where there's no building going on. The planning department, building department was more than fully staffed, but they were too busy. They didn't have time. They were working on things. I mean, insane. But, um, yeah. Okay. I, I am um, um, working on a, a like a proposal to the council next month, and this is one of the key changes I was going to suggest. I mean, we don't have the staff, and so not only does this help the applicant, but it also helps town sure. staff. Sure, it's 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 no, a win-win. Truly empathize. Right. Truly. Right. <laughs> is it, do, do we need to make some sort of a um, official motion resolution or something that you can take that you can say that all five of the Com Historic Preservation Commission is in agreement with your suggestion when you go to the council would you like me to write a letter whatever we could do to help you I, we'd be happy to do that um, you guys can make a motion right now and I can take that 
<laughs> well, well, also, uh, while we're taking things to the council, uh, there was also the sign code got uh, dropped, and within the sign code was the lighting and so forth, ordinances for the town. And we made quite a bit of headway on that, not unlike this uh, expediting things. Um, and so, uh, right, like point B or C could be uh, to, to get some assistance. Maybe uh, there are there are peoples around in, in the state that are that help with ordinances. That maybe you could ask the, the, the council to help you um, hire. To, I mean, to like the sign code. I mean, it just got shelved. Mm -hmm. and, and, well, it got and approved. It got approved. It, it, it bypassed us at the end, and it mm -hmm. went to council for approval. It bypassed us. Mm -hmm. At the end, it bypassed us. <laughs> After all the work we did. Well, I mean, but we're the, I know, but that's, to me, uh, that's ridiculous. To bypass the historic commission when we helped write it, rewrite it. Yeah, we can't. It, it, I'm it, afraid it, the horses are out of the barn on that one. Well, okay, well, where's a copy of it then, sir? Well, I mean, you know. Yeah. Would, where would, does it stand? If somebody comes to us with a sign thing, or if we... What do we what do we use to 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 discuss that? That's right. Okay, Ms. Perkins, can you provide this commission with a copy of the new the newly Sorry. approved sign ordinance, please? I didn't. Excuse me. I didn't know it was passed. I, and then, <laughs> no reflection. Commissioner you. Luke's, might you like to make a motion to move take the streamlining issue forward? And I make a motion, <laughs> number three probably, <laughs> regarding. Revising processes that the public has to go through in order to obtain variances, conditional use permits, special use permits. Uh, what is this permit that you made? Certificate of appropriateness. Certi thank you. Mm -hmm. Amnesia. Certificate of appropriateness. So it will be at the discretion of the commission whether or not those applications can be approved in one and only meeting. The criteria for that discretionary decision by the commission can be outlined by the town attorney. Do well, we have a second to that motion? Or any addition, or if you want to amend. Mm -hmm. Ms. Prince? I second it. All right. For the and discussion? A, and, and just the, if you can note in that motion that this has been in the planning department hands for, I would estimate, probably two and a half years, maybe three, when I first brought it up. So are you going to second the motion with his addition? Yes. Okay, Commissioner Prince has seconded it. Commissioner Lucas made the motion. Any further discussion? Ooh, let's let's have a roll call vote on this one. Commissioner um, Placidos. It's okay. Palacios. 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 I knew I was going to say okay. it wrong. Uh, <laughs> I, have, uh, I vote in favor of the motion. Okay, um, uh, Commissioner Lucas. Yes. Uh, uh, Commissioner Spray, Chair Spray? Yes. Uh, Commissioner yes. Choma? And Commissioner Prince? Yes. Okay. The motion passes 5 to 0. Yay. Awesome. Uh, I'll, we'll celebrate when, when this is done because uh, this, this <laughs> has will. been a long time. Yes, yes, thank you all. Years. And thank you so much for yes. helping to push this yeah. forward. We're, 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 I personally have high hopes that I put in you. I'm serious. After our experiences with the, with the staff we had, uh, you can't do no worse. So, <laughs> you know, so you're, you're filling tiny shoes. Well, uh, thank you. Commissioner Luke. We, we should, that should be no, we, we all really, if there's anything we can do to make your job easier, I'm always available for that. And we, we, we all wish you the very best of luck, for sure. Thank it's you. already been fun working with you. Thank you very much. All right, we're moving on to number nine, matters from our commission. 
I thought that's what we were discussing. Uh -huh. Well, we we sort of tail we were going to do that, but we but Commissioner Lucas tailed that into the end of the public hearing on the last matter. So we didn't really we haven't really there are a few more matters from the commission. I think I have just a couple that are kind of I have some. moving forward with you to make sure you're comfortable because we've done things a certain way forever with right. the staff. I want to make sure you, that that's how you want to do them. I, the first thing I wanted to mention is that on the agenda, it refers to the commission as a committee, and it has for several months now, and maybe we could speak mm. to Dinah about not calling that a committee. Um, and then the first thing that I had was the agenda. Typically, the staff calls me or the chair with the agenda the Wednesday before the meeting, and we, and they, we go over that. And then it gets sent out to the commission on the Friday before the meeting. And I don't know if that timing is comfortable for you or you want to change that. That is fine with me. Um, okay, that's what we're all used to. So Okay. Okay. And then also, the, since all the commissioners are volunteering, the town typically delivers the packets to them at their place of business. And I don't know with the staff that you have if that's how that's going to work. You know what? That's really hard on us. I mean, it's myself and then I have an assistant and we are having a hard time covering the office. We have a lot of walk-ins mm -hmm. and I, to be honest, the town just doesn't have the coverage it needs. Oh, let's just pick them up. I, I mean, I'd rather if you spend time the way we need you I'm, to spend At it. least until this yeah. situation so eases maybe you get more until people you get or For right now, we'll just pick them up then. That would be great. Does that work for all the commissioners? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oscar, do you want me to pick yours up and deliver yours to you? Y yes, please. Can okay. You, uh, oh, would you, would you mind? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, it, 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 so for right it, now, we will figure it out amongst ourselves. On the Friday before the, we'll expect, Di maybe Dinah could send a note when they're ready to be picked up. Email. That'd be a good right. idea. No, okay, and right. then for now we'll do that. Although ultimately, when you get when and if you get more staff, it is nice for the commission to get have them delivered. Obviously, because they're volunteering a lot of time for this. Um, I told Rudy that I would say something today. He asked me to speak for him tonight, and he wanted me to thank all the commissioners and tell all of you that he thoroughly enjoyed working with all of us. This was his favorite commission to work with so oh, thank he, you. he uh, asked me to, I, to I say like, that I like Rudy and as a matter of fact I was uh, part of the hiring committee that hired Rudy <laughs> 12 years ago or 13 years well, ago that was well that very kind and uh, it was a pleasure working with him he worked very very hard and you know, uh, sometimes just the, he really did yeah. he shouldered he was the person that shouldered uh, a lot of things he worked especially hard when he was all by himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had a lot at that at the end there. He had a lot to do. Um, but regardless of how anyone feels about his performance, he put in a lot of years doing this, and he, yeah. I will say I know that he did his best always. Well put. Okay, so there you have it. That's it uh, for me. Does it, the commissioners, yeah, do you have yeah. anything yes. else? I do have one very um, hopefully brief question. Um, what is the, uh, sorry, this is Commissioner Prinz asking of Mrs. Perkins, or Ms. Perkins. Um, what is the appropriate way for our commissioners to handle when a person who has a concern in the audience does not wish to speak publicly on the record when they're afraid of repercussions and they tell us something that we may or may not, I mean, obviously it's not part of the public record. Right. Um, they're afraid to make it part of the public record because of whatever repercussions they're afraid of saying. What is the appropriate response in that circumstance for this commission? It, do we send them to you? <laughs> Do we have a conversation? Um, I, I don't want to step out of line when someone comes to me, um, but... Was somebody talking about me? No, it has head? nothing to do with anybody <laughs> on this commission. It doesn't. 
It has to do with one of the projects. And they have special knowledge, and they're afraid to say it. They're not going to make it public, part of the public meeting. How? Couldn't I mean, I it? feel a responsibility to tell the commission, and I certainly feel a responsibility to tell you. Couldn't you just bring it up and, without naming the person? Just I name, could. Yeah. Just say you have information. Okay. Without you, uh, revealing the source. And you can always come to me and discuss that, and it won't go any further if you need to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I the, think her concern maybe, is that <laughs> I don't want to break the law. I don't want to do anything that would jeopardize anyone on this commission. So what you would like to do, what you're asking is, how do I deal with a concern that somebody has made to me about a project that the commission is reviewing? Mm -hmm. um, do you bring it up like during a meeting without naming the person's name? Um, and I think that might vary depending on whether or not that person might be able to be figured out. Um, I can talk to the town attorney about how to best handle that. I guess I'd rather defer to him okay. than to just give you an answer off the top of my head. I appreciate that. I, I just would like for that thought. question to be answered because this, the information that I now possess is, could be potentially, let's say, um, damaging to a particular property. Okay. I will get back to you. That's in our purview, to right. be clear. Right, right. Okay. That's a great question, actually. It's really good. No rolling quorums at this commission. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I, I do want to say something, but uh, Commissioner Palacios has been itching to say things for the last half hour, so I, I yield to him first. It's, too, it's out of the barn. <laughs> no, um, welcome aboard. I mean, we're, thank you uh, for, for helping us this evening. And uh, I, I think it's, as an architect, it's, to me, it's like you have a police force, you have ambulance, you have a building department. I mean, I don't know how we got to this state, but to be using the county, borrowing people from them and going yeah. to the state, these are the people that were let go or quit. And so I just don't, I can't comprehend not having support for your, uh, your department. I mean, I, I, and I would, I would love to, but, but I guess if they're passing sign ordinances around us, I guess, uh, you know, that shows where we stand. But I would like to hear from who, whoever the powers that be to, to, to what is, what's going on? I mean, it's a... Uh, Maybe Mr. Rodriguez could come to the next meeting oh, because he would be the appropriate. Well, but we have been asking for the, we have been asking for representation. Uh, Rudy has come, but I mean... I believe that I, I, I this commission has already asked for Mr. Rodriguez to come to the meeting on three separate occasions I, that I can remember in the past three months. I know, but, I, <laughs> but I'm, I, I'm discussing this with where we are today. Right. Uh, who I feel is, has that voice, or, may, or maybe n not. I mean, th that uh, I think it's for a town to not have a, a building department is, is, I mean, outside of one the Lone Ranger yourself uh, at this point is is uh, uh, unheard of. I mean, we borrow money for so many different things. It ju it just seems oh, we, we um, need to be outfitted with with uh, a building department. Uh, I, I don't is understand. this a temporary situation? As for, are you able to speak about uh, the lack of staff? Is there some sort of plan or or, or actively? you know, an active search for more staff? Um, yes, I can talk on both issues. We currently have an, a job advertisement out for a building official, so for the town of Taos. Thank you. And, Thank you. Um, and then addressing the other question as far as staffing up the uh, planning, zoning, and building um, department, that is part of my um, presentation to council. So it's going to be, you know, staffing 
uh, code revisions and other things that I see that can help our department function better. Super. Okay. okay. Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Commissioner Lukes. Uh, there have been uh, there have been other items of my interest that uh, I shared with the planning and zoning, and with about three generations of the town of Taos government, <laughs> and many emails exchanged between me, some commissioners, uh, Ms. Perkins, and Brian James. Uh, my most current and pressing uh, issue is the intersection at, Sent at Sentinel Bank and the courthouse. I absolutely positively don't want a traffic light there. And it's, a, it's an intersection that lends itself perfectly for a roundabout. And I brought it at the Planning and Zoning Commission, and Mr. James said that it's a complex process and uh, also requires resources and money to pursue, and the town has to prioritize, which I understand. So I offered my services, as not a, just as a citizen, that I'll pursue it. Um, and then I sent a whole list of other, other things that I think would improve the town, uh, which was restriping of some of the major intersections and streets that would make the traffic flow. I also asked that we pursue uh, testing uh, one way north, one way south, and then I threw a really far out idea that we could also make streets going north and south just during certain hours, uh, if there is such a thing as a, f a rush hour in, in Taos. Uh, but the roundabout to me is the is the biggest thing, and I need to find out what highway district town of Taos uh, falls under, because I'm I'm researching this out with the highway department. I have talked to a developer who's got major projects in Santa Fe and Albuquerque, and the highway department will not allow traffic lights when possible. The the highway department wants roundabouts. So I don't think that, that this is such a, such a hard way to go. And I don't know how the rest of the commissioners feel, but the roundabouts are the perfect solution to, 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 tra uh, to avoidance of hanging traffic lights. Uh, roundabouts, I think we all know, make the traffic move calmly. It's a calming device, <laughs> the traffic moves. They are beautiful to look at, like at Weimar and Paseo, uh, Del Canyon, mm -hmm. they are beautiful. We have water fountains, we have artists, we have sculptors. We could. Mm -hmm. This is a gateway to Taos. This intersection and and some farther south where roundabouts should have been put. And I'm just advocating, and I feel uh, very emphatic about it because another traffic light is something we don't need. There there have been already too many traffic lights that are outright stupid. And uh, I, I, don't, I would like to hear the commissioners to speak well, on I the, think that please. Commissioner Palacios has drawings of that already, oh. don't you? Right, and it's, it's really a highway and a county issue, mm -hmm. and, and, and it is a town, the greater planning and zoning. It's not part of the historic zone. No, but I'm, I'm bringing it no. up anyway because well, it, is, it, is, it is town, it's our town, and like the courthouse, the, the courthouse was built in, in the town of Taos, no one seen anything. The planning commission or anybody else, it was just built. And I think... What, the, 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 it, right. it was brought to us after the fact. <laughs> well, that's how they do it. That's how the schools... And they're not required. The, the, public, the feds, yeah. the state, the schools... The government uh, buildings. Yeah. ...are not required other than what we ask on occasion is a courtesy. And in those courtesies... We have tried to comment on them, and we're, we're, we're befuddled by or set back by they want to start breaking ground next week so they can't change the color now, or this or that. I mean, we don't really have due process when it comes to those entities. And I have a real problem with Well, with right. we all do, but it's but, not in the law. And I, I appreciate you bringing that up so that Ms. Perkins could know where we are all at as commissioners, but that isn't in our purview. The roundabout by the courthouse is not... It's not in the historical district. No. We are all citizens of Town of Thousand. 
we have an opinion. No? Right, I yeah. understand. You're yeah. taking and, that as and that. We have, yeah. And we have, audi we have audience, you know, so we can express our No, I'm opinions. happy that you're getting it. I'm happy it's off your chest. And, I, and, and Commissioner Palacios <laughs> has beautiful drawings of that, too, if you still have them. I saw them. They were beautiful. So if, you're, if mean, you ever you like need any. Do you like traffic lights? No, we did a, I we proposed. don't like them at all. I we proposed. traffic works much better without them. Okay. okay. We'll talk. That's, that's all. Yes. We'll, we'll talk about Any other matters from commissioners for tonight? No? Move to adjourn. Seeing that there are none, let's, you, we got a motion to adjourn. Second? Second. Excellent. Okay. Those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Oh, Miss Prince. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Perkins. Need it next time. <laughs> okay, good. Later, brother.